Hi, and welcome to this FONAF coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at FONAF, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to look at adding multiple logos to your Business Central report. To demonstrate how to add multiple logos, we will use the FORNAV file storage table and the reports from the customizable report pack. However, you can add multiple logos to any report in any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate adding multiple logos, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add logos to the file storage table. In step three, I will use a customer specific logo on the invoice. In step four, I will use a different logo on follow up pages. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be adding logos in a Business Central on premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 2 release. I've installed the FONAF customizable report pack and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Please note that you need FORNAV version 5.4 or above. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central Cloud environment. I also have the FORNAV Designer installed on my PC. The FORNAV Designer can be downloaded from the FORNAV website. The first thing we need to do is to upload the logos we want to use. There is a table in the report pack we can use for this, the file storage. Of course, you can also use custom tables from your own extension. FORNAV can work with image files that are both blob or media set fields. So let's go over to Business Central, which we have over here. And in Business Central, uh, starting with report pack 5.4 or above, I can find the FORNAV file storage. And in the file storage, I can simply import files uh, to a table. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the uh, the code, and I'm going to set the first one to code 30,000, which is a customer number. The type is going to be the logo, and the code and type are the primary keys for this table. So with code 30,000 and type logo, I should be able to get the content of uh, this field. And then the description, logo for customer 30,000 and click to import to import my logo file. So that's for the, uh, the customer with a separate logo. Uh, of course, I can use uh, this for more things. So I can add a second code. Again, of type logo. And I'm going to use this one for a logo. logo on the follow-up page. Once again, click to import and I'll use the same logo. There we go. So now I have added two lines in this table, uh, one specific logo for customer 30,000 and one logo for follow-up pages. The next step is to add a customer specific logo to our invoice. To do this, I need to edit the sales invoice report and add some custom script. So let's work with these reports. I'm actually not going to uh, edit the uh, sales invoice. I'll work with the sales template. These are a bit easier to modify. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is add the file storage to my records. Uh, we've done a previous coffee break on records. The records property in FORNAV can be used to get data from any related record. Uh, by default, we have the company information, the FORNAV setup, etc. And I'm going to add a new one in here, which I'm going to link to the FORNAV file storage and hit OK. And the next thing I want to do is set up my data item link. Let's make this a bit bigger. So I'll set the data item link to the header table. And I will link the code field of my FORNAV file storage to the sell to customer number and hit OK. Then, of course, I uh, get my 
uh, my records with the code field sell to customer number. But of course, we also need to filter on the type. So I will add a type filter for value logo and hit OK. So that gets me the record from the Fornaf file storage. But since the Fornaf file storage uses blob fields, I need to calculate my data field. So I will add my calculated field. The data is stored in the data field. So that will be calculated, and now I will be able to use my logo in my in my report. So click OK there, and then we have the uh, the logo control, uh, which is a picture box control in our Fornav layout. At the moment, this is set up to the, to use the Fornav setup the logo, but I wanted to use a different logo in certain cases. So I'm going to open the source expression, and in this source expression, I'm going to use a uh, a ternary statement, which is a shorthand way of writing an if statement. And what I'm going to do is check if my Fornaf file storage data has any data in it. So I'm going to say Fornaf file storage is not empty. If it's not empty, I'm going to use the Fornaf file storage data as a source expression. And if it is empty, I'm going to fall back to the Fornaf setup logo. So this in JavaScript is a really nice shorthand way of writing an if statement. This reads, if Fornaf file storage data is empty, then use Fornaf file storage dot data, else use Fornaf setup dot logo. I will hit OK and save my changes. And now let's preview the report. So let's preview for a random customer number. You will notice we have the Fornav logo, which is loaded up in my uh, Fornav setup. And let's preview with an invoice for customer 30,000. You will notice Fornav now uses the uh, Red and Bundle logo that I've uploaded in the Fornav file storage. So that's great. Let's close this in the Fornav Designer and go back to Business Central. Now I've saved this in the sales template, and that would mean, I hope, that my changes are now also on the invoice and order. So let's try these. Let's run the invoice. And we have the Fornav logo, the Fornav logo, and here we have the Red and Bundle logo for customer 30,000. So that's awesome. Let's see if it works on the order as well. It looks like it does. We have uh, an order for customer 30,000, and we have the Red and Bundle logo, and we have an order for an, a different customer, and that uses the Fornav logo. Finally, we want to use a different logo on the follow-up pages of the report. To demonstrate this, I will edit the customer list report. Instead of using the record properties to get the data, I will now use JavaScript. So let's go back to Business Central and find our customer list. The reason I'm using the customer list is that the customer list in Business Central on-premise demo environment as a number of pages and at the moment i get the four nav logo on every page and of course i want to change this i want uh, the four nav logo on the first page and the red and bundle logo on all of the follow-up pages so let's go to the four nav designer and once again we start with adding a record in the record collection only this time i'm going to just set this up for the four nav file storage and i'm going to leave the data item link and data item link reference blank because i'm going to get this data with javascript instead of these uh, properties so get to get this uh, this record i'm going to need to write some javascript now this is a fairly simple logo set up this is just a logo i want to be be able to use in the header of my report so i'm going to add the code to my on pre report 
JavaScript trigger. And in this onpre report, I can simply type for now file storage dot get. And the Forna file storage has two primary keys. Uh, the first primary key is the code, uh, which was second. And the second primary key was the type, which is logo. So I do a four and a half storage of get uh, on the uh, primary keys. And then, of course, uh, the data field being a block field, I need to calculate it. So I need to do a calc fields. on the data field. So fairly simple setup, pornf file storage.get and pornf file storage.calc fields for the data field. Hit OK. Then of course I need to change the pornf setup logo. Uh, this report is connected to a master header. So I'm quickly going to reset that, uh, which means I can enter the properties of the pornf setup.logo. And once again, we go and play with the source expression. Only this time I'm going to use not the controls for determining if a logo is loaded or not, I'm assuming these logos will always be loaded. So I'm going to use the page number control in the core report. So if page number core report dot page number is one, use the for nav setup dot logo else for nav file storage dot data. So once again, the, uh, the ternary operator, we have uh, if cur report dot page number is one, then use for nav setup dot logo, else use for nav file storage dot date. Hit OK and preview. First page, we have the for nav logo, second page, third page, etc. We now have the red and bundle logo. So that's how easy it is to play and change with these logos in uh, in Fornav. And for your reference, I've added the JavaScript I've used here on the on the sheets. So let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did is add logos to the file storage table in Business Central. After we did this we were able to add the file storage table to the records property of our reports and use JavaScript to select the logo we want to use. You can use any type of data link you want. Uh, another usage, for example, would be to use a different logo for certain, for certain dimensions. If you want to know more about JavaScript in your Fornav reports, please check out our new guide on that topic, uh, which you can find on GitHub by following this link. Thank you for listening to me so far. Uh, looks like we don't have any questions just yet, so let's wrap up with this uh, webinar. If you do have any questions, uh, please type them in the go to webinar question window and I can still answer them. If you want to know more, please visit fornav.com, uh, which is also the place where you can download the Fornav designer. If you want to use Fornav in uh, uh, Business Central Cloud, you can download it or install it from the Microsoft App Source. If you want to view more of these reports, please Sorry, if you want to view more of these videos, please visit our Fornav Reports YouTube channel. And if you have any questions uh, after you watch this video or when this webinar is over, please send them to support at fornav.com. Of course, we'll continue our Fornav coffee breaks and for a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, breaks you can visit fornav.com slash coffee break. And if you have any topics for future Fornav coffee breaks, please let us know. You will win two prizes. The first one is a coffee break about your topic. And the second one is a 50 euro or dollar gift certificate as a thank you. With that, we have no questions so far. So thank you very much for listening. And I will speak to you in the next coffee break. Goodbye.